Let's try this again. You know that the viewers are going to get seasick here, Shelly. It's it. and thank you for joining me for another episode of Star Wars Legion by Fantasy Flight Games. And we have Maniac Shelly on the channel. She hasn't been on for a long time. Haven't you, Shelly? Oh, been on for a long time. Yeah, you gotta speak up a little bit. You're kinda... Sorry. Haven't been on in a very long time. Yeah, you don't have to do that loud. In either case, Shelly never played Star Wars Legion before and my experience is very little with Star Wars Legion. So, if we do make rules mistakes, just please comment down below, timestamp the video, refer to a page number and whatever book it is, so that we will learn together. Thank you very much. And don't forget, if you haven't already, which I don't know why you wouldn't have already, but click on the subscribe button and bell notification on the YouTube channel. You can also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, but our Twitter account is very inactive because we don't do a lot of live stream, but if you want to see you know, other past videos for streaming, they'll be on there for a certain amount of time too as well. Oh, all right. That's pretty much my spiel. So again, we are playing the basic tutorial, which is in the rule book of learning to play. We'll go to the rule book and look at that. You can see the game board is already set up and it's very desolate. I made a mistake, not Twitter, it's our Twitch channel. Yes, thank you, Shelly. I got Apparently Twitter on the brain. Apparently you don't know the difference between Twitter and Twitch. Yes, I do. I know. My brain is just kind of twittering right now, uh -huh. or twitching. That's what it is. It's twittering and twitching. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. All right, so if you look here, this is on page seven. Well, actually, it starts on page six, and this is the Learn to Play book, and it tells you how you set your forces, what forces to pick. So you don't get to pick what point values you want and everything else. You have to go by what this is. Again, this is just a starting game so that you can learn how to play this game and that's why we're playing this one so Shelly because Shelly never played it before and again it's the Imperial versus the Rebel Shelly's going to be the Rebels and I'm going to be the Imperial and it goes to round four we're going to play to round four and then whoever kills then we're going to total up how many units are dead and we'll decide who wins there but if Shelly kills all of my units before the end of round four that obviously means that she won or vice versa. So you can see the table set up here. It's one inch range. You set up so the red is the rebel, or red is the empire, and blue is the rebel. And it kind of shows you how to deploy them there. But we are not going to deploy them exactly like this. We're just going to deploy whatever way we want. And we're not obviously going to record the deployment. So again, this is still uh, learning to battle. But we are kind of changing up just a little tiny bit, but we're kind of sticking with the most part. So let's look at the armies, what we have in each army, and then we'll just start the battle. Here you can see the rebel side, and again, this is all preset out into the battle, so you don't have to pick your own armies. But Shelly has Luke Skywalker as the commander, and she has the ATRT with the laser cannon. So that is the only upgrade card in this entire game for this. This one is the laser cannon on the rebel side for the ATRT. And you have two units of four rebel troopers. They don't have any other special guns, you just have the standard guns that come with them, and that is it for the rebel side. For the Imperial side, we have none other than Darth Vader himself. And then we have two speeder bikes. They don't have any upgrades either, neither is Darth Vader. And we have two four main units of stormtroopers. And they're nothing special about them. They still only have their normal blasters. And that is it for the Rebel side, or I mean the Empire side. So let's go to the board. We're going to deploy and we'll be back. All units are deployed. We're going to take a close look at the deployment now. So Shelly did her ATRT here and one unit of Rebel troopers. And on this side, we have the Rebel troopers and Luke Skywalker right there. And if I swing over here, I got a unit of stormtroopers and my unit of speeder bikes right here. Darth Vader is over this side 
and my other unit of stormtroopers. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to play one of the command cards. Now because this is a tutorial mission it does tell you specific command cards that you use. I'm just going to show everybody the command cards that we are going to use just so we're on the same page. Just you can, If you got the book you can always just refer to it on page six. But standing orders is one. Um, assault is the other one. Get in focus. Push and ambush. So Shelly has the exact same cards. Now we're not starting with any upgrade cards or any special cards that Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker, Luke Skywalker uses. The only upgrade card, like I said, is Shelly. It did say to give the ATRT the laser cannon. Shelly and I both picked command cards. So what did you pick, Shelly, for your first command? push and it's a two pip and I got standing orders it's a one pip so Shelly gets to put command orders on two units and it has to be within range of the leader and also two as well you can see the two pips right there and mine is four pips so I'm going after Shelly and I can only put it on one unit. Shelly put her command onto Luke Skywalker and the rebel troopers one of the squads and I put mine onto my stormtroopers right here. Shelly's first activation, what are you doing there, Shelly? I'm going to activate my rebel troops. Okay. I'm going to move them. To and they have here. a move of two, but two. the thing is, is you can pump them right up here because move two is right up to here. It's no so big deal. Move two and... You're yeah. going to do, uh, you no, know, yeah. you have a dodge, an aim, or uh, a standby. 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 So what standby is, is after I move up and if I shoot you, it's like Overwatch. Shelly's gonna return the favor by shooting at me. So she's gonna put these units into standby. Whoops. Sorry, break the board. Yeah, on my activation, I'm not gonna activate the command unit there. I'm actually going to do a, a random draw. And it is another core unit. So I can't activate those guys because I already have a command token. So I'm going to activate these. And they activate it, they're on ready. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do with those guys is I'm just going to do a double move. So whenever you're going to move, you have to move your unit leader first and then everyone else just follows suit. So I'm just going to go like that and I'm going to go whoop. That's one move and move is pretty much the only thing that you can do twice in a turn. You can't do double like a shoot and a shoot or anything like that. I'm just going to try to make my way over closer to the... Uh, to the barricade. So that's two, and just for unit coherency, I'm just gonna put these guys here. Yeah, put them there. And what I mean by unit coherency is all of your troops got to be within one range movement away from your unit leader. So that is my activation for those guys. So I flip it over and I put my token there and I'm activated. It's on the Shelly's next activation. Shelly's next activation. That's a nice t-shirt you got, Shelly. Where'd you get that? I don't know. Some strange lady made it for me. Oh, uh, yeah. She's married to this weird guy. Weird? Crazy. Really? Weird. Damn. Yeah. Kind of looks like you. Uh, uh, hang on one second there. All right, here we go. I just said forgot I didn't have my TV turned on to display board game main actions. You know, we got to do plugs as much as we can. Right, Vanna? Okay, so what are you doing for your second activation? I am going to flip this token over. All right, go ahead, I mix it up when I turn it over. It's my ATRT. Okay, so now you have some choice to do with your ATRT. Do you there. on your card have a compulsory move that you have to do with your ATRT? I don't know. It would say like compulsory move. I don't think it does have that. No. It says armor, climbing vehicle, climbing vehicle, and expert climber. Okay, so you're fine. So now, what is the range of the weapons of that? One to three One and to three. two to four. And oh yeah, and two to four. So you can possibly shoot at my guys if they're in range now. So, yep, you can see, what you can get one. Okay, so now, if you want to, for your first action, you can shoot, but what I suggest to do is for not, your first not action... Not shoot you and kill you like I do in every game we play together? Yeah. For your first action, I would try to move up closer. Um, hang on. What's your speed on your ATRT? Two. Sure. two. Two red dots, right? at the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two. So just say that you went here, you'd be there, 
and you still I still would kind of have some cover there so I would move you, you're gonna get the range for sure oh I have the range for that too oh you're right so you can shoot either this core unit or you can move and shoot that it's totally up to you okay, so then I would flip that over to activate it right yep and then I am going to you're gonna move move him okay so that goes there there now you can either shoot at these this unit so I'm in range or that unit to shoot any of these or yes. am I just shooting at the stormtroopers you can shoot the stormtroopers or you can or pick at Darth Vader or I can shoot at these right all right now before you shoot just just so you know you were shooting either way you're shooting over barricade and half my unit is within cover, so I'm gonna get a mine. I'm gonna get a bonus for being in cover, because it's hard cover. Okay. So you can choose either to shoot that unit of stormtroopers or the unit of stormtroopers there or Darth Vader. But he's above the barricade. It still don't matter. He's taller than the barricade. Because if you draw the line, it goes Fine. at an angle. So who are you gonna shoot? Over the barricade. At? Uh, I'm gonna shoot at Darth Vader. You're gonna shoot at Darth Vader. You're gonna pick on Darth Vader. He didn't even do nothing yet. So. All right, so we'll gather the dice up for that. We'll be back. So Shelly's shooting at Darth Vader. She got her dice. It's two black and one red. So Shelly, let's roll right here. See what you get. So Shelly got three hits. Uh, but the thing is, Darth Vader is behind her cover. So two of these are canceled. So I have to roll one defense die. And Darth Vader's defense is a red. So I'm gonna grab my defense die. And for me to successfully defend, I have to get a mark on the defense die. Okay. But if he rolls this, I don't get any defense. Oh, okay. So that's a surge, that's a shield. And I get nothing. So Darth Vader is taking one hit. Now, because Darth Vader is immune to suppression, you don't get any suppressed tokens onto him. Darth Vader got one hit. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Poor Darth Vader. And that ends Shelly's activation, we're on to the Imperial activation. On my activation, I'm choosing to activate this troop of stormtroopers. And for my first action, moving up, and I don't have to measure it because it is below two. So I'm going up right here to the bunker, just like so. And now I'm going to shoot at the ATRT if I'm in range. My weapon is an E11 blaster rifle, and I have a range of one two, three, and you can see the three is definitely touching his base of the ATRT, so I'm gonna shoot now. So I get four white dice, white diamond dice. Here we go, come on, put some damage into that. No. So I get two crits, that is really good. There's no negative because I'm touching the barricade, so Shelly don't get a bonus for cover, but is your vehicle armor, does it say? It don't, does it? What armor? Yeah, look on the back of your card. Flip the ATRT card over. Impact key weapon keyword. Impact while attacking a unit that has armor change. Change up to one thing to result another. Okay, so that's armor all. While defending, cancel all solid things. All hit results. Hit results. So and that's so you do have armor, but I roll two crits, so because of that you can't block crits. But if I roll this symbol, mm -hmm. they would be cancelled. Okay. So you have to defend what is your defense dice? It'll be probably white square. Look there? Be no be beside the six and the four on your card. See the white square die? Yeah. yeah. So your defense is white dice. So you have to pick two white dice, which is they look like D6s. Roll them here, and you have to get... Okay, so you got a surge, and if you look on your card, a surge is only for your defense, it would be an extra hit. So therefore, you weren't able to block any of them, so those two hits go through, and it hits you. I tend to talk about like the hits and crits and everything else shorthand, which a lot of players refer to, but from where Shelly does not, never played this game before, she don't know what a crit is and everything, so just explain for on the die. So, solid hit, put it on the table where we get focused. So a solid colored mark like this is a hit. One that got a space in the middle is a crit or a critical hit. And these here are surge. So some 
some vehicles and some troops and everything have special abilities that gives a bonus if you roll these for defense or an attack. So for Shelly's, hers if she rolled this when she's attacking, that would symbol, Surge would turn into a crit. Just so aware of that. So again, if you're new to this, I'm trying to explain as much as we can as we go along, but again, I am still new to this too as well. Not as new as Shelly, but I'm still new to it. <laughs> All right, so that ends my activation and Shelly got two wounds for it. So now she gets to either activate Luke Skywalker or flip over her last token. Do you know what you're doing for activation? No, no, no. Flip over my last token and oh my gosh, look where it goes. It's a core <laughs> troop, all right. Yes, yeah, somewhat. Not, so. <laughs> all right, so Shelly's activating her unit of troopers there. And um, what are you going to do, Shelly? No, they have a speed of two for their movement. You don't have to, you can move them up to a two speed of two if you want. Yeah, move them all together. Okay. Do you know what you're doing for your second action? No, that's as far as I know. For okay. Shelly's second activation, she's gonna pew, 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 pew into my unit of stormtroopers right here. And they shoot with the black die, so it's four black dice. Roll them right here, Shelly. See what you get. So you got one hit. Now, it is going over hard cover, so because it's going over hard cover, it is going to cancel out, it would cancel out two hits, but because you only rolled the one success, it cancels that one out. So they take no damage whatsoever. But, however, even though they, it canceled it out, they still get a suppression token onto them. Onto the Imperial, turn to activate, and there's two left. Okay, Shelly, one and two, pick one. I'm gonna let you pick which one for me. No, you pick your own. I don't know which one, it's, it's still you random. You have a choice of one. Okay, so, oh, so it's gonna be Commander Vader. So Vader gets to do, he, there's no, like, they activate it already, activate it with a ready token. The only one who didn't activate was Luke Skywalker. There's no way that he's going to be able to get in uh, Darth Vader's range. So because of that, I'm just gonna grab my movement token here. Darth Vader is going to do one move like that. And for the second one, I'm just gonna bump him up like that. And that is his two activations. He's done. And we're on to Shelly's turn. His wound token thingy. To oh yes, his wound token goes over there because he does. He did take one wound, and it's on to Shelly's activation for Shelly's Luke. last activation is with Luke. What are you doing there, Shelly? I'm gonna activate Luke. Okay. And then I'm gonna move him. He's got a move of two. Two, so I'm gonna move him right up to the barricade. Yep. And then I'm gonna stand by. Gonna give him a standby. Standby token right there. And now it's on to my last activation, and it is going to be. Okay, what's your choice? <gasps> My speeder bikes, my 74Z speeder bikes, they have speeder one, which is, I'm able to ignore any train that is lower, one or lower, but when I activate, I have to perform a compulsory move and their speed is three, so I have to move them at least, before I do anything, they have to move a compulsory full move of three. I'll do that and I'll be back. That is where I did for my compulsory move. They can go over barricades and I have to reduce their movement because they are hovering Vehicles are repulsor vehicles. What? Because they fly. Yes, they fly. They're repulsor vehicles. Now, I can like take some shoots at, at those if I want, because I am within range one to three. I don't want to get too close to them. So that was my compulsory move. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take aim and then shoot. And the reason why instead of doing a dodge is this is the final activation for this round, so I'm just going to take an aim token and shoot over there. You can see the aim token is there, which allows me to reroll up to two dice, and that is our dice pull, and they're deciding to shoot at Lukey Lukey right there, because there's more dice flying at me, because both of them are ready, so if Shelly's going to, when Shelly shoots back, she'll have four black dice, as opposed to Luke with his two red dice. Oh, but Luke's reds are a lot more chances of hitting. This is tough, tough, tough. Uh, no, I better shoot at those guys. Here goes. So, Shelly has cover. So, this is canceled out because of that. Now, on, does the speeder bikes got a surge? Yes, they do. And what the surge is, is that this turns into a hit. 
but because it is in cover, they are canceled, and this is the only one left. So Shelly, you have to roll one white defense die for this shot. Okay, Shelly, roll away. Oh, you blocked it. So that unit you know, doesn't get any damage. But now, since Shelly has her ready token, that ready token is gone. She's at range one to three, obviously. So now she's gonna shoot me back with four black dice. Okay, Shelly, go ahead, shoot into my bikers. Oh. So that's two hits onto them. Ah, they do have cover one, so it's a range attack. So one gets canceled, but still one is going through to hit at the speeder bike. So now they have to defend with uh, white die. Oh, this is guaranteed hit because I can't whirl these for beans. Here goes. Told you. So one of these takes one damage, and you always assign the damage to your non-unit leader. This is my unit leader, so we'll take one point of damage. My bad, my memory is so bad. No kidding. <laughs> the reason why is because I had the aim token and I talked about this in one of the previous clips. So which gets me to reroll. I just looked at the footage and there were two empty black dice. So I am going to roll this because the cover's already been spent for Shelly so she may have to do some more defending here. So yes. Now she has to defend Two more dice, so two more white dice to you, Shelly, the block. Totally forgot that. And no, you roll like I do. So two of your units are dead, so you can pick whatever ones you want. The only thing is, is you want to leave your unit leader. So come off? Yep, so they come off. So that ends this round one of activation. <sighs> I'm so forgetful, sorry about that everybody, but I'll try to remember, I'll try to be better. One thing before we go on to round number two is that at the end of the round you remove one suppression token. So this would come off and Shelly would have had one for me shooting there but it's the end of the round so she removes her suppression token too as well. So now we're on round number two. Round number two, okay Shelly, flip over your command card. I got a two push and you got a three. So you get to assign commands to three units. I get to assign commands for two units and I'm going first because I have a two pip and you have a three. Our commands are assigned. So I assigned one to Vader and I assigned one to the uh, speeder bikes. Now when I say speeder bikes, I have to see if Darth Vader is within one to three, which he is. So that was legal. I'm allowed to do that. Shelly has three units, so Luke Skywalker, just there. So unfortunately, you can't assign a unit to this one, Shelly, because that is out of range one to three. So you have to take that one off and assign it to this unit. Since I had the, the lower pip, so I get to go first on this turn, and you can see that I've put a command token on Darth Vader, and I put a command token onto my speeder bikes. Now, I do know two is all because there's this here is a ground or uh, oh what do you call it again the repulsor vehicle and this is the commander I only have troops left so because of that I know that these two tokens are going to be troops both of them are troops it don't matter how many times I shuffle them up or whatever I'm still going to draw a troop token so because of that where I'm going first I have a choice of either saying okay well I want Darth Vader to go first or I want the speeder bikes to go first, or because I know there's two troop tokens, I want them to go first or they to go first. Even though there's no token in front of them, I can randomly draw one, but I know both of them are, are, are core troops. So I know that either way, I can say, yeah, I want Darth Vader to go first, so I'm gonna activate him because I already got his on there instead of trying to randomly draw it from the stack. But because he's already there, I know if I want to activate him, I can. But I don't want to activate him yet and I don't want to activate these guys yet, but I have that option that I can activate them anytime I want to on my turn for my next my next turn or what have you. So I'm gonna flip over one randomly. Oh, surprise, surprise, it's a core. So I can either place it there and get them to activate, or I can place them there and get them to activate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them there to activate those guys. And what I'm deciding to do is I'm going to grab my two measurement tool, which is over here. And you always measure from your command leader. So 
I'm going to move him up like this. And then again, with unit coherency, just moving these like so. Now that was my first action. So my second action is I'm going to try to shoot into there or shoot at that unit. It already has two wounds onto it. I may possibly do damage onto that, but their weapon is range one to three with the blaster rifle. So as you can see, definitely in range and in range. And even if I opted to go that way, I'm still in range two as well. So I'm going to shoot them at the uh, ATRT and try to destroy them. So I get four white dice. Here goes, over here. I got one stinking surge, but luckily that surge flips over to a hit because it does say that on the card. You can see here, surge hits, turns to a hit. But I think you have armor on that, if I'm not mistaken. We'll double check again. Shelly has armor, so armor is when defending it cancels all hit results. I can't change that to a crit, so that is gone. So therefore, their second action missed shooting at the ATRT. On Shelly's activation, she's man she decided to draw randomly, but she only had one token left and it was for the Wow, randomly picked my ATRT. Yeah, your ATRT. So now you can either stay where you are and shoot or you can move and shoot. Or you can I'm like uh, shoot. you can put a dodge and a ready on there if I you want. Shoot. Or you're gonna shoot. So what is your range for your weapon? Two to four, correct? Two to four. Now, or you can choose the weapon that's already equipped here. Let's see, I can either shoot you, or you, or you. Yep. Hmm. So who do you want to shoot, Shelly? Who are you going to pick? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm going to shoot this group here. So you're going to shoot this group? Yeah. Alright, so grab the appropriate dice, we'll be back. Before Shelly shoots, I have my laser pointer out, and from center base to center base, you can see there, she, the closest one, that she is, this one is out in the open, but if she shoots at any other one, I already told Shelly that I don't have cover, but if you, she's shooting at any other one, so that's two, that's gonna go over the base, and that's gonna go over the base. So in the rule book, what it does say, that to determine if you have cover, if half of your unit or more is uh, blocked by cover than all of them is going to have cover. So which means, just say for instance, I moved one out like that. So Shelly has line of sight to that easy, can able to shoot. But because more than, half or more than my unit is behind cover, he's gonna get cover too as well because they operate as a unit. So because of that, I do still have cover. That was my mistake, I told Shelly I didn't, but I do because again, more, half or more of my unit is behind cover. Hey Shelly, see what kind of damage you got? So you hit me for one hit, now on your card, do you have an attack for a surge? You do. Which turns it to a, a critical, critical hit. hit. So because they have cover, it will block this one, but because this is a crit, criticals ignore any cover. So therefore, one hit goes through. I get a suppression token for number one, and for number two, I have to roll to see if I can dodge that one. Here it goes. Ah, I blocked this. So they get no damage, but they still get their suppression token. Shall your second action? Stand by. Stand by, all right. That's a good choice. All right, it's on to my activation for the Imperial. My activation, I'm going to activate my 74Z speeder bikes. Now they have a compulsory move of three, so I have to move them three before I do anything else. It's kind of hard to move while recording, so I'll be back after I move them. I did my compulsory move, they were there, they moved the three here, and now for my first move, first action, I am gonna move three. Now, I am gonna go right here. Gee, I wonder what you're gonna do. And these guys are gonna go right here. Now, for my second action, I'm gonna shoot into right here. Really, surprise, surprise. Here goes, red, black, and white. And they've got a surge that hurt, turns it to a hit. So that's three, four, that'd be five hits. Now we have to examine for if Shelly's got five a, hits, not a critical. 
Yeah, this, oh, I no, took it. No, you had it on a critical. Oh, my bad. Now yeah. we have to see if Shelly's actually classified in cover. So, closest model is here, and that is my team lead. It's in my firing arc, center to center. So she will not have any cover, because it's not hitting. You can see it's so not I hitting. So I don't have cover because the other guy's covered? You have to go by the closest model, and this oh. is the closest miniature. So, because of that, now, if I do center to center, for this one, it is hitting the barricade just slightly, so because of that, and it, I, as I said previously, that if one of your miniatures, or at least half of your miniatures, are behind cover, then you would get hard cover, and that is behind there. So you can see that it is hitting, whoops, sorry Shelly. So Shelly does technically get hard cover for this. Because she is in hard cover, two of these are canceled. So Shelly has to defend three white dice. Okay, Shelly, do your defense. So one, defend it, but two hit, you only have two left. So unfortunately, this unit is destroyed. On to Shelly's turn. I think I did a boo-boo here, but we will see. So Shelly, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna activate Luke. Of course you're gonna activate Luke, because you're gonna capitalize I'm onto gonna my boo-boo. Aim. For your first action. Yeah, and then I'm going to move. And this move is pretty much classified as a charge action. So you can see there that when Shelly moves, she's gonna be in base-to-base -base contact with my, my uh, speeder bike. So whenever you do a charge, you get a free melee action. So Shelly's going to roll six black dice to try to destroy this. So it's just like a scene from Return of the Jedi where Luke just cuts the front end of the uh, speeder bike off and it crashes. All right, Shelly. Uh, oh, so does Luke got any specialty with his... Of course he does. This. So that surge turns to... Critical. A critical hit. So you got three criticals, or three hits on two crits and one hit. Because you got a hit and two criticals, my speeder bike has cover one, so therefore it's one cover, one will automatically come off, so it's still two crits. So I got two white dice to defend, and everybody knows I can't roll these white dice for, for beans. Whoa. So I blocked one, but one goes through, so takes one damage. But because he is a unit leader, the damage will actually go on to that. Before I go on anymore, we totally forgot when I say we, I mean me, because Shelly never played this game, but she had an aim token. So she gets to reroll two of her misses. So she did miss three, so she gets two of those to reroll. And she gets one more hit. So I have to roll my white die to see if I can get that. If not, I'm gonna take another damage. And I take another damage. Awesome. Because we caught that, you know, when I say we caught that, I mean Shelly caught it. Because you're trying to cheat and kill me. I'm not. Oh, you believe trying. me, I already know who's going to win this game. It's going to be you. It's going to be you because you, be you like killing me all the time in games. No. I think you're, you're kind of like just taking out like hidden anger on me or something. We haven't even started quarantine yet. Uh, yeah, we're shooting this while the... Uh, the COVID-19 is going on, but when this comes out, it's not going to be until May, I think. I don't know if the COVID will still be in effect. We'll find out. So Shelly did make me a promise, though. Actually, she made it to Brady and I. And that promise is if we do go in quarantine where we are, because Shelly is going to be fit officially finished. I still have work. five more days of work. <laughs> five more. Okay. okay, so what did you tell Brady and I that after you are done work? that I would promise to play one game. One game No, no, a week. one night of games. One night of games. That's right. But once you're, a what week. is your game your game choices though? So everybody knows. Yahtzee. Yes, which is an awesome game. Crazy Eights. Crazy Eights, which is good. And Crib. And Crib, that's right. That's it. If anybody wants to see it. any videos of a Yahtzee game or a Crib game or a Crazy 8 game, comment down below and let us know so that I can show Shelly and say like, hey, fans want to see it, so if fans want it. You don't want to see it. You really don't. <laughs> I'm we'll telling see. you right now, you don't want to see it, okay? Put your hands up like that again, like no. No. 
Great, okay, that's gonna be the thumbnail for this game. Awesome! Oh, oh, do it again, put your, your finger up. Awesome! Okay, great, all right. I could so, give you some other fingers, but no, no, age appropriate. Yeah, no, let's try to keep it down to, you know. Play the game. Yeah, on with the game. So, I'm activating, it's my turn, and we all know it's the core, and that core already activated, so core, core, whatever you wanna call them, it's those, and I know I'm in range to shoot, so I'm going to take aim for my first action and I'm going to shoot, and because I'm shooting, it's going to be four white dice into your ATRT. Here goes, Shelly has armor, so it cancels out all regular hits. All blank. No, so that's oh. a surge, and the stormtroopers get any surges, turns to hit, but this is canceled out. So therefore, Shelly has to block one die, and your defense die is white, I'm assuming. Yeah, I think it's at least two white ones. No, it's the one up by the, the numbers, the green and white. the orange one. White. White, okay. So this thing? Yep. So go ahead. Why'd you block it? Oh, of course you blocked it. Of course I did. And also, too, on top of that, Shelly has a ready token on her, so <laughs> she can return the favor now and shoot up my guys if she so chooses. So Shelly's opting to shoot so that ready token is gone. So now two black and a red. Two black and a red. Range two to four, they're definitely in range. And she got, do you have a surge for any of it? This thing? Yeah, is it on the top or bottom? It's on the top, so that hit tur turns to a crit. So therefore, that, because we're on hard cover, it don't make a difference, because crits are not blocked by car cover, hard cover. So I have to roll one, White die, no, red die for defense for them. So that's that's not too bad. It's better than me rolling a white because everybody knows I can't roll a white. So well, I just can't roll a red either. Same mm, size of dice. Mm, true, and I don't got any surges for their defense. Not so even rolling, that's just wiggling. Wait, oh, oh, wait, ah, guess what? You it's defended blah. it. Shelly's activation. What are you doing for your final activation? I'm going to. Oh my god. Activate my last set of troops. And what are you going to do for your final activation? I'm going to aim. There's your name token. Aim token. It's like we planned this already. And I'm going to shoot your things. Speeder bikes. Yeah, those things. Yeah, the things that. The things. 74Z speeder bikes. Sure. Just so you're aware. Okay, Shelly, four black dice going into my speeder bikes. So that's three hits. And they have cover one. So. Oh. One is gone. What oh, you got your aim, so you get to re-roll. You now, you can either roll re-roll two of the dice, or you can re-roll one twice. I'm just gonna re-roll the one twice. Okay, go for it. So that's a crit. I would not change that. I would leave it like that. Uh, re-roll one of these, then? You can, if you want. Oh, it's blank. So they could cover one. That is gone. So I have to block. Two hits. White dice to roll. This is horrible. What if I go? Oh, 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 that would be oh, called that's... cheating. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. All right. Here it goes. Oh, oh! I blocked one. But does a surge for defense? Oh, they do. So they. This here turns into a shield. So do you know what that means? The second time they were successfully blocked. Last but not least, it's Dark Darth Vader himself. Darth, Darth yeah, Vader. Darth right? Vader. Well, he is dark. So he is going to uh, do a double move, I think, because he can't really do anything else. Darth Vader is kind of slow, so he only has no, a one. Thanks. No. So he's gonna go there. And you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just... Put yourself out in the open. Put myself out in the open. Why? Why not? Because it's Dark Vader. So there you go, that is his two activations. I think that is it for round number two, if I'm not mistaken, because yep. everything is activated. So we're going to round number three and for the bidding. We're on to the command part for the beginning of the round. So Shelly, what is card do you have? Three, four standing orders with one unit and I have assault three. So I get three units and you get to assign orders to one unit. We'll be back after we do that. The command. Orders have been placed down, and Shelly is commanding her ATRT, and I'm commanding my speeder bikes because I'm range one to three but away. I they had a specific name; they were just speeder bikes. Oh, sorry, 74Z speeder bikes. Are they gonna do it? Make it right. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. And my core unit of stormtroopers, and my core unit of stormtroopers too, as well. 
So that is it. So I get to go first because my pips are lower and I already know that she's going to start gunning for poor Dark Vader. So I'll pull a Dark Vader up. <coughs> I'm Dark Vader. Not Darth Vader. Dark Vader. All right. So anyhow, I think I'm going to activate these guys first. Why not? So with them, I'm going to do an aim and a shoot right there. Oh. There's your aim token. Here goes. Oh, so I get to roll two dice, re-roll. This time I'm remember remembering. So here goes. Camera's shaking when I'm doing okay. it that way. Really? What? Really? What? I didn't say anything. Mm, yeah, of course. So that's one crit. So you have armor, right? Yep. So armor is on yours as you cancel all hits. But I rolled a crit, so you have to roll defense for one. I think that's white one. Your white die, that's right. Get nothing, please. Ha! Huh. 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 Another hit on you! Oh. And there we go. That is the uh, three hits, three wounds. One more wound, and we have to roll on the vehicle damage chart for this because it is a ground assault vehicle. So, Shelly, who are you activating? Oh, I don't know. Oh, she's some shocked. Huh? Uh -huh. Who are you going? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna aim. You're gonna aim, and you're gonna shoot at who? Oh, go ahead and try and take out Mr. Dar Darth Why Vader. Why are you picking at Darth Vader? Not my fault. He's stuck right in the middle. Yeah, I know. That was a boo boo on my end. All right, so gather your dice up, and we'll do that. Here goes two black and a red, and two hits. Now let's see if Darth Vader has anything special. He has deflect while defending. If you spend a dodge token, but he don't have any. Immune to pierce. Do you have any pierce onto your weapon? No. Armor you have though, right? I like, have armor. Yeah. So, Master of the Force, during the end phase, the, the relentless, if you perform move action. Okay, so I have to just try to block two hits, and it is two red dice. At least not white, so I could possibly defend. Oh, surge. And Darth Vader has nothing for his surge, so therefore he takes two more hits. Lovely. I shouldn't have rolled them yet because Shelly has her aim token, so she can re-roll this one twice or two dice once. That's once. Oh, so that's three hits, so I gotta roll one more time. Oh boy. Uh, oh, oh, oh. So that's two hits going on Darth Vader. There you go, Dark Vader. Mm. On my activation, I have to do something with these speeder bikes before uh, Lukey Lukey gets to attack. So I'm going to activate these guys. They have to do their compulsory speed move of three. So I'm going to do that first and I'll be back. My compulsory move is done. I did a hard right and I went there. So now I'm going to do my move of three. And then I'll be back. For my first action, I did move and they are within range one to three, obviously. So I'm going to shoot at those guys there. And there's my dice pool. Come on, you just can do some damage here. Oh, that was a really, really horrible roll. So that is, I keep hitting Luke, sorry Luke. Four hits going in. So Shelly, you got four white dice to try and block that damage that is gone at them. But before you do that, you do get a suppression token, but it, I'll put that down after you roll. So just roll right here. Okay. Oh, you only rolled one. Oh, so that means... I can count. Pew, pew, pew. So one person's left and you get your suppression token. On the Shelly's turn, she's going to randomize because it's uh, a core unit and Luke is left. Who are you gonna, who are you gonna get there, Shelly? core unit all right so this is who you have so because you have a suppression token now this is a good thing because if you don't get rid of this on your rally phase that means that you are going to reduce only one action so you take a white die and you have to get any mark on the die to remove that you don't so because of that, you are suppressed, so you only get one action to do. Now, you can either do a shoot, or you can move, or you can put a dodge token, but it'd be silly with a dodge token because unless you think these guys are gonna shoot at them to wipe them out. So it's up to you, you can- He's gonna shoot at these guys. You're gonna shoot? 
All right, so this stays on to you. You got one action. We're just gonna turn you here. So one white die for your shot. No, it's black die, right? For them. So yeah. go ahead. Not blank. Now they don't even they don't get anything. But just say, for instance, you did get the hit and I failed. That would have took out one of my units because they only have three health each. But unfortunately, you kind of whiff that one. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, taking lessons from you, I'm rolling dice. Probably. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. Okay. On my activation, I'm going to activate these stormtroopers, and I'm going to aim, and I'm going to take shots at your ATR team. Okay, super. Here goes. Do it, do it, do it. Ooh. Stormtrooper surge turns to a hit, so this surge will turn to a hit. That surge will turn to a hit. Now I'm going to reroll this twice. If I don't like the outcome. Oh, that's a hit. You do have armor, and you are going to cancel all hit results. So I had to reroll, so they're gone. So you only have to block dodge one. Okay, Shelly, dodge away. You dodged it. All right, Shelly, good roll. You just proved one thing right there. They wow. roll better than what I do I know. with the white dice. Yes, you do. It's pure luck. So now. It is on to your last activation, and you're doing... I have no idea. Luke is the only one left to activate. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, look at that. I'm going to activate Luke. Right. So... Oh, I guess I have to turn that over. Do you know what you're going to do with Luke? I'm going to move him this way. You're going to move for your speed of two. Yeah, so my speed of two. Okay. Speed. Oops. Wreck it. Here. Okay. There. And then he can charge. Oh, so you're going to do the move and charge? Yeah. So then I move him over there. Oh. And then you get to attack with six black dice. Go ahead, Shelly. So see if you have anything special for if you got a surge. Yeah, it turns to a crit, don't it? Hmm. It does. Right. So they have cover one, so one of these are gone. But unfortunately, that's three hits going into them, so I have to dodge three. And lo and behold, they have white defense dice. Mm. Here it goes. You defended one. I defended one, so two oh. go through. Oh, but do you know what that means? That means what that this guy is. Bye bye. Boo! I defended one and two hit, so I get one wound, and this one is gone. So therefore, it's up, it's left. I just would like to have a moment of silence for my speeder bike. Oh, suck it up, Buttercup. No, I, I just, I'm going to miss him. Oh, suck it up. I'm going to, I'm going to really miss him. Anyhow, One more activation on round number three, and it is none other than Darth Vader. Good pronunciation what? of your words there, honey. Yes, thank you. So Darth Vader. He Vader. is going to Vader. do a double move, and I think that's all he's going to do. So he's going to go... Meow. Sounds like a cat. And then he is going to go... Rrr. That wasn't a cat. It was, it was dying. So that was it. And that ends his turn, and we're now on to round number four, which is the final round. Round number four, the final round that we are going to. So now, you I can count you can play to round five. I think it says in the book round five, but because this four is the tutorial good. one, we're doing the fourth. That's four right. Good. So, Shelly, flip it over. Ooh, ambush one. I got, whoops, <laughs> ambush, ambush one. one. Oh, it's a oh, tie. Except I have the token. That's right. So, so get to you get first. to go first, and we both get to nominate one unit. We both place our command orders down. So one's on Dorothy <laughs> and the ATRT. The ATRT. And Shelly's activating first, and obviously, yeah, because look what she's going to do. So. Can I make a guess of what you're going to do? Can I just I'm guess? I'm going to take these Are you going to dice. aim and then shoot? Oh, of course I'm going to aim Oh, you reckon I just gave it away. All right. Go ahead. So we do the Darthy. So remember, you get to re-roll. Once. Twice. So two hits onto him. 
Here goes. What? No. <laughs> okay, here goes. And Let's try this again. You know that the viewers are going to get seasick here, Shelly. I'm not the one controlling the camera, so. What's wrong? None. Okay. Here it goes. Uh. <laughs> Will you stop? <laughs> no. Okay. Nothing. Oh, uh, it's a surge. Which he doesn't have. He don't. So that's two more hits, so it goes up to five on Darth, but he's still strong. There you go. He has got two more damage onto him. Now we're on to my activation. I'm going to return the favor by activating Darthy. Yeah. On my activation, I'm obviously activating Darth Vader. And he is going to do his one movement. Now, he unfortunately is not in touching the base. So Aww. his second action is going to be another move. Yeah. So he's in base contact. But he has an ability which is called Relentless. And with Relentless is when he makes a move action, he can make a free melee attack. It's the same as what Luke Skywalker has, but they call him Luke Skywalker. Skywalker. Skywalker is a charge, but this is Relentless instead. Because Vader for a second move got the base to base, he gets his free melee attack action, which is classified under Relentless. Six red dice, impact three, pierce three. So that's pretty devastating. Thanks. So, actually, that was probably your best roll ever. So, because of that, thanks, Shelly. I appreciate that. Um, if I look on the back, it's impact three. While attacking a unit that has armor, change up the three hit results to crits. So, I change that one. I change that one. And I change that one right there. And it has pierce three while attacking, cancel up the three shields. So, therefore, these here, Shelly has armor onto it, so these are wiped out. They're the only thing that happened, but the thing is, is now Shelly would roll three white dice, but I have Pierce three, so no matter which she rolls, it's going to cancel out that. So you don't even have to roll for this, Shelly. Oh, I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> so you did two, but it is Pierce three, so they're gone. Fine. So that's three more hits. How much health do you have on your... Six. Six, so that means that unit is dead. Darth Vader just completely wiped out that AT RT. Fine, fine, <laughs> fine. Shelly's activation, go. she has got a randomly draw now. That didn't work. <laughs> what was that? Randomly drawing. No, that was randomly dropping something. So what are you getting? Ah, uh, Lukey Lukey. So do you don't you don't look here, do you need a minute to think? I know what I'm doing with Luke. Remember, he he has a, a ranged Luke, weapon Luke too. Luke is gonna go over here. Oh. He's gonna go right to here, right to here, and he's gonna do that thing. He so does. you get a free melee. Yeah. So, oh. that, over. so that would be six, six black, black dice. dice. So you're returning the favor that Darth Vader did. Yeah. Go ahead. Do you have anything to convert surges to hits? Oh, they turn Critical. to crits. Oh, that Critical. hurts. And the speeder has cover one, so one of these are gone, so I gotta defend for three hits. Three white dice. And the speeder does have it does have a surge, it turns to a shield. So I take two damage, but you know what that means? You totally annihilated. Bye-bye! There you go. Thanks. I don't have any other commands, so I have to draw one. And it's a core unit. Activate these guys, and they're going to aim and pew 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 into this unit. One thing I notice here with these units is that they're not actually touching the barricade, so therefore when they're shooting, Shelly's lone command rebel trooper gets cover too. But I get the aim, so... Thanks. Are you going to do this again? Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. Shoo, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but I got aim, so I get to roll to a... Uh... <laughs> Try, shall we? Yeah. Here it goes. <laughs> surge. And Stormtrooper's got a surge of a one hit. It's here somewhere. There it is. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. I had to re-roll. 
these dice are defense dice. I actually gotta roll the four attack dice. Yeah, me smart like dump truck. Excuse to see even get those blanks. Of course I got blanks. I was rolling defense to attack you. I'm gonna get work. blanks. There's still blanks on those. I know. Oh, that's better. So this turns to is. a hit. And now I'm going to get to re-roll one. And it's a, so two of these get canceled out. So you got to block two hits and you get white defense die. So you get two white defense die. Oh, these white ones? Yeah, whatever. Oh, bye bye. That'll... Luke is alone standing left and he activated. So now I get to activate my last unit and it is going to be my core unit. They... You actually had to look to see what it was. They don't... They don't have range to shoot at Luke. So I'm going to try to make it up there. I'm going to move to and I'll be back. This is my first time playing with the Stormtroopers, the Imperial in general. And I noticed that they have Precision 1, which is whenever I spend a name token, I get to reroll one more die, which I should have done in, the, in way back when. Yeah, but, I only played four rounds. Yeah, too late. I did move for one action, and now I'm just going to show you. It, it got a range of one to three, and Luke is outside. So because of that, their second action, they can move up, but they're not going to be able to shoot because Luke... Uh, is there and uh, the stormtroopers would not have any other action so this ends the game and we'd calculate the points to see who would win uh, but I destroyed three of Shelly's units and but you destroyed my speeder Luke was still left yes Luke is still left alone. Um, so pretty much when it comes down to it Dark Vader can't stand no Dark Vader? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Shelly, it was a good game. It was. Nice. The, <laughs> the Imperial won. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this game, Board Game Maniacs, because it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Shelly's. Bye, Lukey Lukey. Luke didn't die. Nobody's saying bye. You said bye, bye Lukey Lukey. That's better. Yeah. So, it was a fun game. I enjoyed it. I love Star Wars Legion just like I love other games like Fallout Waste and Warfare by Modiphius Games. It's awesome. Checked it out on the Vader channel. Darth has died. No more Star Wars. Check. Could you do that again? Yeah, do it. We'll get closer. He's dead. Who died? Darth Vader died. He's dead. Oh, no okay. more Star Wars. Thanks. Okay. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this game. It was a lot of fun. As you can tell, Shelly don't like playing these kind of games, but when she does, she likes to egg me on and pick at me as much as possible. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. It's in the marriage contract. It is. Very small, fine print. And Which glasses, I can't read it. I so. didn't have my glasses, so I didn't read it. Ah! Anyhow, it don't matter. It could, you could egg me on as much as you want. It's, you're stuck with me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this comment down below let me know your thoughts onto this let us know if you made any rules mistakes also if you become an official sponsor of Board Game Manic jump over to patreon.com slash board game manic check out the three tier levels we have and you can help us get more minis in more paints you know I'm trying to upgrade to get a new camera new audio gear a new computer first off because my computer is kind of struggling for doing a lot of editing and that so any little bit will help even just subscribing and liking and commenting and sharing is helping us too as well so until next time board game maniacs play some star wars and you know if you want to see shell and the channel again just say no it's all good so it's if they right. say no it means yes right no no. Well, I said if you want to see Shell and Channel no. again, you said no. just say no. Just say no, you don't want to see Men and Channel again. No. Oh. But if you do, say yes. No. Yes. No. Thumbs up, say yes. <laughs> Alright, so until <laughs> next time, Board Game Maniacs, have fun and be a maniac. See ya! Boo! Hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to keep up to date with Board Game Maniacs, click on the like and subscribe button to be notified when more videos come available. If you want to become an official sponsor of Board Game Maniacs, go to patreon.com slash boardgamemaniacs. 
or you can go to streamlabs.com slash boardgamemaniacs1. That's right, and you can donate to help keep the lights on, keep food in their bellies, and play more games. We'll purchase more games, more equipment to make Board Game Maniacs evolve and get bigger and larger because of you, the viewers. I thank you from the bottom of my toes to the top of my head for all of your support. And until next time, Board Game Maniacs, be a maniac.